you've upgraded to Designer for iPad version 2. You're all set to dive into the app and get started, but wait, where is everything? How does Shape Builder work? Where are the warp tools and what's the difference between the knife tool and sculpt mode? If those questions and more have been on your mind, welcome to class. Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Capone. I'm a Chicago area artist and top teacher here on Skillshare. And together we're going to explore the all new Affinity Designer for iPad version two. I've been a full-time artist for over a decade and Designer has been a key app in my creative toolbox for several years. I've taught a range of designer classes here on Skillshare as well as tutorials on YouTube. And I've had the privilege of being spotlighted multiple times by Serif, the makers of Designer, as an online teacher to watch. I've been using version two for the iPad since it was in beta and I can't wait to share what's new with you here in class. You may have noticed things have changed a bit. And while the existing tools haven't changed that much, the overall interface got an overhaul and there are some brand new tools that have been added to the lineup. In this class, I'm going to walk you through all of the changes, additions, and updates and show you how to put everything to work for you. We'll start at the beginning with an overview of the all new home screen. I'll show you how to create new documents and import existing ones, as well as how to use presets, templates, and projects to make the creation process more efficient. Next, We'll walk through the updated user interface and I'll show you where everything is, including the revamped contextual menu. We'll follow that up with a walkthrough of some of the key changes to existing tools and studios, such as auto close on the pencil tool, the revamped layer studio, and the ability to import and export color palettes. And finally, I'll introduce you to designers, three new tools, shape builder, knife tool, and warp groups. And we'll use all three along with some of the existing tools to create a fun Scandi inspired textured floral illustration. Plus, along the way, I'm going to share some of my tips and tricks on how I use those new tools in various scenarios. All you need for class is an iPad and Affinity Designer. I'll be using an Apple Pencil, but you can also use a compatible stylus or your finger. When you take the class, I'll provide you with the color palette I'll be using, as well as a set of textures. This class is beginner friendly, but it does assume some familiarity with Designer version one, as it's intended for those who have upgraded or are considering upgrading. For those of you who are brand new to Designer for iPad with the version two, you're welcome to join us in class, but I will be releasing a complete three-part beginner's guide to version two, separate of this class. So be sure to hit follow on my profile so you know when the modules are released. So are you ready to explore what's new and exciting with Designer for iPad with version two? If so, I'll see you in class. Mm -hmm.